Boys family, welcome once again. Today we are making cornbread. And guess what? I have figured out a recipe that is gluten free and vegan. So if you are struggling with gluten being gluten free this Thanksgiving, I sit me out <laughs> because gluten free is still something new for me. But I figured out that gluten is something that my body really doesn't tolerate very very well. And so I've been trying to live my life a little bit more on the gluten-free side. So add that in with being vegan. Mm -hmm. It can take a little bit of a toll on you, especially when it comes to the holiday season. But I found this recipe. I really, really like it. I think you're going to like it too. I know you're going to like it too. Let's make it together. guys we are jumping into our recipe and let me tell you I kind of have everything already laid out I want to first of all show you the flowers that we're using I'm using the Arrowhead Mills organic yellow cornmeal gluten-free okay um, so that's uh, our basic standing right there and of course to that I'm gonna be adding an all-purpose baking flour from Bob Red Mills okay so two of them that we're putting together we also need some buttermilk for this recipe. I am using my oatly milk today. Oat milk, any kind of plant-based milk, added some vinegar to it is what does the trick. Most times it's just about uh, one cup to one, but with oat milk, I found it to be a little bit different, okay? Just a little bit different. And so to really get that curded buttermilk kind of feel happening, um, I added two to one. So I have two cups of uh, Oatly milk in here, all right? Two cups. And then I added four uh, tablespoons of apple cider vinegar to it to get it curded. If you can see around the edges, it's starting to do its little thing. All right, guys, so to jump on in, to add to that, I'm gonna be adding just egg. We're using just egg as our egg replacer today. We usually use two just eggs, um, two tablespoons of just egg to replace one egg. So this recipe calls for about three eggs. So I am gonna go ahead and uh, make that a reality right now. That means I need to put nine tablespoons in, okay? All right, you wanna give your egg and your uh, your buttermilk there, just a nice quick little stir. Nothing too fancy. All right. All right, so that's our start. I'm gonna set that aside for just a little while. And in my mixing bowl, I'm gonna be adding two cups of this yellow cornmeal. Okay guys, so now the final stage, we already have the cornmeal, all the dry ingredients with the corn mixed in there. And now we're just gonna add our milk, uh, buttermilk slash, uh, you know, with the butter and everything is inside of there, the eggs, everything is already mixed in there for us, okay? So I kind of do it half and half. Because I wanna make sure that uh, my mixture is not too runny or too dry. I want kind of like that cake batter mixture, okay? If you haven't made cornbread before. As you can see, we keep coming in with some dry pieces. I wanna add a little bit more. just gonna keep adding until we know we have that you know that wonderful uh, cake batter feel happening I'm sure that you're seeing it takes a little while to mix it in because you know it's mighty dry just keep turning it 
I think we're just about getting to that stage right about now. Yep. I feel like we're right inside that zone that we want to be in, okay? All right, guys. I'm really liking where we're at right now. Okay, so next we're gonna pan this up. So my muffin pan is already greased. You can also um, go ahead and use this as in a regular, you know, uh, baking tray. If that's what you prefer. But I like cornbread muffins, okay? I'm using my half cup measurement to get the perfect size right in my little muffin uh, hole right there. There we go. It gets a little messy, but that's okay. Because I'm going to clean it up in the end before I put it into the oven, okay? All right, so those are my first six little muffins. And I like a little bit of a spice play on my muffin. My husband doesn't care for that as much. So what I'm going to do is add some fresh chopped jalapenos to the rest of my mix there, okay? All right, so here's my little jalapeno. I don't want a whole lot of it and I definitely don't want the seeds because that's where you know all of that super fire is I just want the edges I'm gonna play with it all around the edges like that all right kind of de-seeding it in the process and then I'm just gonna make some really fine chops can see you really don't need that much because jalapenos pack a mighty mighty good punch okay so you really don't need a whole lot of it just make sure your pieces are really nice and small I'm gonna go ahead and scoop that in it right into the second half of my mixture to create that nice wonderful spice effect a quick stir make sure they're well mixed in oh and you can smell the cap caskin <laughs> that wonderful uh, cayenne pepper kind of a feel okay so here we go, second half. Second half is going to really turn them around. I just want to be sure not to add any of the pepper in the other one. Okay, so just to make sure I know which side is the hot side, okay, I always uh, put a little piece of that pepper right on top so I know this side. These six are hot and these six are not. I'm gonna clean it up. I'm putting it in the oven at 375. I'm gonna bake it until my cornbread muffins, uh, uh, you know, give me a nice clean uh, pick or they are pulling away from the sides. Look at these babies, guys. My cornbread is all done, all done. All right, they're nice and hot. I stuck a knife in, they came out super clean. And now I'm gonna add a nice glaze to it. To my, for my glaze today, I'm using amber, amber maple syrup, okay? I got this um, from Whole Foods. This is the Amazon brand through, home, through Whole Foods. I'm just gonna use my pastry brush. Pour just a little bit, you don't need a lot. And I'm just gonna give them a nice, wonderful glaze. You know, when I came to the United States, um, the first place I lived was in the South. 
So every single time I had cornbread, it had that wonderful sweet topping to it. And uh, that's just the way I learned to do it. And um, I've tried other ways too, but this really works very, very well for me. I like the taste. And I love uh, the saltiness of the cornbread with a little spice. And then the sweetness, oh my goodness, I think it just brings a wonderful secondary option um, of a carbohydrate to your meal. So it really depends on you. You can go really heavy on the syrup or you can just give it a nice light coating. So to be up to you, then I'm gonna let them cool and I'm gonna pull those babies right out. Isn't that pretty? Sure is. Okay, my lovelies, here we go, here we go. Look at them. They're beautiful, aren't they? And if you notice, uh, that one that I put the bread cup on top, it stays right on top, right on top, okay? So guys, if you're trying this um, for Thanksgiving and you're gonna be serving it, make sure, to, um, make sure to note that, okay? So that you can do that. I did it to one just so that I know which side. Um, some people do signs at Thanksgiving, so if you do a little food signs, make sure to note that not everybody can handle the heat. Or make sure to just top them so that you know which one, um, which ones have the jalapeno and which ones don't. Okay, so here it is. I'm gonna be trying this with you in my next recipe. The next video, I'm gonna be tasting it with something else. So I want you to come back and try it with me. Make sure guys to like this video, make sure to subscribe. Don't you forget, don't you forget to share this with your friends. It's a really wonderful, simple recipe. It is gluten-free and vegan. Mm -mm -mm. You don't always get that with cornbread. So let's jump on in and let's make this this season and have a great time with it. Be your best love, peace, and I'll see you in the next video.